In this video I'm going to show you how to use GeoGebra to create tilings of regular polygons. Once you've opened GeoGebra, first thing you need to do is click on the More button here so you get the full set of tools available. And if you scroll down under Polygons you should see one that says Regular Polygon. So we're going to click on that. Now I'm going to draw the 4444 tiling. That's four squares tiled together. That's a nice straightforward one to get started. Um, so I'm going to click once and twice and it says how many sides, how many vertices actually do I want in my regular polygon. Um, it's a square so I want four so I'm going to say OK and there's my square. Now I'm going to join more squares to this by clicking on two points. One, two, OK and I'm going to keep going around. One, two, OK, one, two and there's another one. And this is bringing up my tiling pattern and I can keep going. I can keep going around like this and keep adding more squares to my tiling pattern. OK, and I can keep going on doing lots and lots of those. Now, if you do it and a square doesn't appear, sometimes if you click on the points in the wrong order, um, you might find that your square doesn't seem to appear like there. It's actually this one's gone a bit darker. It's put a, a second square over the top of the first one. If that happens, just undo and click in the other order. Click on the points in the other order and it should put your square there. Um, if you can figure out it's going anti-clockwise around the shape. If you go anti-clockwise or counterclockwise it will make the square. Once you've done that and you've got a few of these squares in your tiling pattern you can then start colouring them in. So I'm going to colour these in with a, a chessboard style. So I'm going to go back up to my menu, choose select objects and then I can click on certain squares by holding the control key or the command key down. If I then click on these three little dots or indeed this color pot I can change the color. If I click on the three little dots here I can change the color and I can make these maybe red and then if I click on the other ones if I don't want them to be blue I can change the color pot and maybe I'll make those green and if you want to do a bit more with the colors, click on the dots, go to settings, and then under color, um, you've got a whole load more colors, and you can make them darker if you want. You can see changing the opacity makes them darker or lighter. Okay, and I can make them stand out like that. So that's my basic um, tiling pattern. I've done a, a simple 4444 pattern. I'm now going to move on and show you a slightly more difficult pattern. Uh, I'm going to click on the Move tool over here to move that one out of the way and drag that over to the side so I've got some more space. And this time I'm going to do the 3636 pattern, so that's triangles and hexagons. So I'll click on my regular polygon tool, um, click twice to get my first shape, and this time I want three vertices for a triangle. Um, next to that I'm going to put a hexagon. So I'll click there and there, and then I want six. There's my hexagon. Uh, I want another triangle in here. So that's a three. And I want another hexagon in here. So that's a six. Uh, and there's my hexagon. Um, now I can again go back to the Move tool and drag this to build this up. Um, if I want to zoom in and out, the Zoom button's here. So I can, I can zoom out so I've got a little bit more space there. Um, move that over, I've got my old pattern on there. And then I can go around building um, more points here. Um, so uh, where are we? We need to go back to regular polygon. Um, I've got a hexagon. If we look here, I've got a hexagon and a triangle, so I want another hexagon here. So six, and another triangle in here. That's three. If you put the wrong shape in, just go back and click on undone, undo rather, and we'll get rid of that. And let's put a a three in there uh, and then again you can use the coloring system we found you can keep building this pattern up you can make it get bigger and bigger you can uh, what we could do is decide we just want to make a big triangle with it so we could put a triangle there another triangle here and another one here notice I'm going anti-clockwise around my shape all the time uh, and you could decide that's the pattern that you want and then you can color them in now it's a bit annoying having these um, all these letters next to the point um, if you get that by default. If you get that, go to the edit menu and select objects. 
click and drag to select the whole shape again go to your three dots for settings click on those and uh, where it says show label um, you need to remove that now I had to click on it first to get it on there that showed all my labels because some were showing and some weren't click on it to show them all click on it again and they all disappear and now your labels are gone you've just got the dots on the corners of the shapes and there's your nice tiling pattern